Hey everybody, Kelly here. Today I am in the kitchen and I am making apple scrap jelly. And it is so easy. I left uh, my scraps in the pan for three days. So the first thing I did was got a pan full of apple scraps. And then I strained it and threw away all the, the extra. So all I had left was the juice. I ended up with 14 cups. So I knew I couldn't handle 14 cups today, so I'm just doing seven. And this video is going to be a little bit different. Mainly it's going to be just photos. My videos are messing up a lot in their losing video. So I thought, well, I'll just do it this way, give you an introduction, and tell you what I'm going to be doing today. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I am sitting down in the kitchen today. I just, um, that's just how it has to be. If I want to be in the kitchen today, I'm going to have to just sit and do it. Well, now I need to stir my jelly. <laughs> I'll bring you over and show you what stage you're at right now. I've set the timer for 25 minutes because that's about how long it should take for this to uh, gel up nicely. Thanks for joining me on this simple Sunday. Almost one hour from the time that it started to boil did it finally hit a full rolling boil where you can't swipe it out with a stirring spoon. So I'm hoping that within, you know, 5-10 minutes or so it should be gel so that you can put it into your jars. I guess I didn't expect it to take this long, but it did. And I'm still in the kitchen, so we're doing good. All right, here we are the next day, and I've washed the lids off and things like that, and it didn't gel, but look at that. That's going to be an excellent syrup. I'll take it. Apple syrup. And it's going to be going on my pancakes this morning. <laughs> 